Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in tarot land. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. Din, 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 din. Pussy power. Yes, 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 ladies, there is power in the punani. Yes, it is. That is what the divine has given you, ladies. Ladies, it is your tool to rule. No one can resist it. <laughs> no one can resist it. That's why everybody wants to be a woman. But you can only be a woman on, if you have a womb. Remember that. Remember that. You have to have a vehicle in which the souls can enter into this realm. And without a womb, you don't have a vehicle. Okay? Know the power that you possess, ladies. You are the connection between the spirit realm and the, and the physical realm. Know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. You are so powerful. You just need to tap into that frequency. I want to thank you guys for joining me and welcome you guys to What's the Word? What is the word? What is the word? What's the word is where I draw three letters. It can be three consonants, three vowels, or it can actually sum up to a word. But whatever those three letters are, we are going to go to our resource dictionary thesaurus whatever what have you whatever you use and we're going to look those those words or those uh, letters up okay um the english language is very cryptic very occultic it is the language of the fallen angels so it's meant to be very manipulative that's why one word has like 59 meanings to it or more you know um it is to confuse you and we all know who is the author of confusion okay when we were forced to conform to the lifestyle of the conqueror, we um, were forced to conform to their lifestyle. Um, so we had to leave all our traditions and customs behind. We walk as they walk. I mean, ridiculous. We talk as they talk. We eat their foods. We worship their gods. We speak their language, okay? Um, and they know that we've been under, we've been conquered so long that it, we live through the eyes of the conqueror. You know what I'm saying? Um, vowels never existed in our language. They only exist because the conqueror had to interject them into our language because their tongues are so different that they couldn't speak our language without them, okay? So that's why if we see a cluster of letters without a vowel in it, we don't think it could actually sum a word. But actually it does because our traditional language consisted of only consonants and symbolism, okay? We don't even look at symbolism anymore. And like I said, if we don't see a vowel uh, in a cluster of consonants, we don't think it could actually mean a word, but it actually does. So that's why I do a lot of word magic on this channel. I want to enhance the third eye of the Divine Feminine so that she can tap into that frequency and see what is hidden right in front of our face because the powers that be are now hiding things in the matrix from us by using the formation of our old language which is consonants and symbolism so we have to go back in the past in order to get forward in the future okay so that's why i do this exercise to strengthen the third eye and i hope that you will do these exercises with me okay all right uh, we're finna see what's the word floating around in my divine feminine's energy and the Divine Feminine that we're working with today is the Libra. All right, Libra, we're going to pull some letters and we're going to see, boo-boo, what word is floating around in your energy. And after that, I'm going to put some tarot on it. And we're going to get the story about why this word is, is in your energy, okay? All right, let's get some letters out here for my Libra. Let's get some letters out here for my Libra. I hope you guys are doing good today. The sun is shining. It's beautiful. I hope you're enjoying the weather. I hope you're peaceful and calm. Now, I'm not allowing anybody to ruffle your feathers because they will try to take you into a toxic realm like they are. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Misery loves company, doesn't it? Yes, it does. All right, let's get some letters out here and let's see what's going on, what's going on, what's going on. What's going on? What's going on? All right, all right, all right. The first letter that I'm pulling for my Libra is a G. Okay. 
The second letter that I'm pulling for my Libra is an F. And the third letter that I'm pulling for my Libra is an X. Good, we got three consonants. I love when it's consonants because vowels never really existed, okay? So the word we got today floating around in my Libra's energy is GFX. GFX, which I have no idea what that means, okay? If you guys happen to know what that means, before we look it up, please put it into the comments. I love when people can look at these consonants and know what they mean. That means that our third eye is strengthening, and, I, and it makes me feel good. So if you know what that means, put, some, put it in the comments before we even look it up, all right? All right, y'all. So GFX is the word that we're looking for today that's floating around in my Libra's energy. All right. This is the time of the video where we'll pause it. We'll allow everybody to go get their resources. You can use the Wikipedia app, the Google app. You can go get your thesaurus or dictionary or whatever you use to look up words and etymologies to, get, to gain knowledge, okay? We're going to look up GFX, and then we're going to come back to per definitions, and I'm going to put some tarot on it, and tarot is going to tell us the T, okay? All right, guys, I hope you look these up with me. If you don't, I will do the work for you. But it's beneficial to look these words up, um, look these letters up. It's to exercise your third eye, okay, to strengthen it. So um, please do the work. It's so beneficial, okay? But the word today is GFX. All right, guys, let's go look it up. Let's go get it. Let's get it. All right, GFX, let's go. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, guys, we're back, we're back, we're back. Did you guys look up GFX? I hope you did, guys. I hope you did. If not, we're going to do the work for you, okay? GFX. The first one that I got to, guys, guys is it is the abbreviation for graphics, okay? It is the abbreviation for graphics. What else? Um, they refer to it as the shorthand for, for graphics, okay? Uh, what else? What else? Looks like everything means graphics, right? Mm -hmm. See if I can see another definition. Also, they're saying GFX stands for a person who is owned by another person in the ways of graphics. Okay. Still has to do with graphics, but means that you're owned by somebody. I'm trying to find another definition, guys. Did you guys find another definition? Because I'm not finding another definition. I'm, I'm, I'm steadily looking, guys. Steadily looking, guys. But I don't see anything else besides graphics. Hmm, interesting. That is all I'm getting, guys, is graphics. Mm, mm, mm. Also, it can be a uh, global freight exchange. That's GFX. Also, we have global funds exchange. Um, all right, those, that's all I'm getting, y'all. You know, mm. glucose, fructose, and xylitol. You can stand for that. So we got graphics, we got a uh, global freight exchange, global fund exchange, and glucose, fructose, and um, xylitol. Mm. 
that is all I'm getting, guys. If you feel that I didn't bring attention to a, um, a definition that you feel that I should have, please, please, please leave it in the comments because I did not uh, mean to uh, pass it by. Also, uh, GFS could mean the Global fin Finance Concentration. Global Financial Institutions, the concentration. Okay. So we got graphics. Uh, glucose, fructose, and xylitol. Global Fund Exchange. Um, global Freight Exchange. And we have Global Financial Institutions uh, Concentration. Okay. That's all I got, y'all. That's all I got. Okay, okay. Let's put this tarot on her, y'all. Let's put this tarot on her. And let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What is floating around in my divine feminine energy in my Libra? Why is this GFX floating around? Okay. All right, let's shuffle it up. Let's shuffle it up, Spirit. Let us know why GFX is floating around in my divine feminine energy. Why is GFX in my divine feminine energy? All right, Tarot, tell us the tea, tell us the tea, tell us the tea. All right, let's get it out here, y'all. Let's get it. Let's get the story. Let's get the story. <laughs> okay. That's the story card. I'm going to turn it over, guys. Okay, it's upside down, as a matter of fact. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, okay, what we got out here is somebody has figured out something. Um, somebody has figured out um, some manipulation, some deception from somebody very immature. Um, this particular, someone has left someone. Okay, this immature person... Um, is being left behind, okay? Uh, whomever is leaving them behind has uh, healed from their manipulation and their deception, okay? Somebody um, could have even went to jail, okay? Um, and they're getting out of jail, okay? Um, they're actually uh, healing from... Um okay. What is going on is that somebody went to jail for fighting with somebody else. Um, they were in a partnership with this immature person, um, and they were fighting. Somebody went to jail. Now somebody's getting out of jail, and since this person has gotten out of jail, this person is leaving this partnership. They're tired of it, okay? Um, someone is doing a lot of sneaky things behind somebody's back. Um... Working really hard to do something sneaky behind somebody's back uh, because somebody is freeing themselves from them, okay? They're working really hard to uh, bring a, um, a love offer. But they're not going to get their wishes fulfilled because this person has freed themselves from, from them, okay? Um, this person wants to bring them an offer of money. Okay, they want to bring them an offer of money. Okay, um, but uh, 
This person is not going to heal this connection. This person is not going to be in this connection anymore. Um, this person is willing to give this person a lot of money. Or either this particular person gave this particular person this love offer because of money. Okay, because of money. Um, this person probably um, got into a, a, married into a family that's entitled, that has money. That's why he gave this person his love offer. He thought that this was going to be all that, you know what I'm saying? But it's not. The grass is not green over here. He's not getting his wishes fulfilled. And he doesn't want to heal the connection with this particular person. This person is leaving. This person has freed himself from this person that they gave this love offer to. This person is, uh, is hid a lot of things from this uh, individual. And um, they hid who they were. You know what I'm saying? They thought that this person was all that in a bag of chips, and now they see that this person is not. Now they see that this person is not. Okay. Um, this person did a lot of things behind this individual's back to get them to give them this love offer. Probably spell work. Okay. Yeah, they worked really hard, you know. Um, this particular person could be somebody that is... Um, um, a distance from this particular person, but they're in some type of relationship. Um, they look at this person like they are the devil. Okay. Um, they don't want to be with this particular person. They feel that this person is a burden to them and they're dropping this burden. Um, they don't want to heal this connection. Um, they just don't want to reconcile with this person. Um, they want things to go their way. Um, they're not giving this person uh, any of their energy. Um, they want a divorce. They want a divorce. They're letting go of this connection. They're letting go of this immature person, uh, this water sign. This water sign, this is a Cancer Pisces, a Scorpio that they gave this offer to. This person is really mature, immature. And, um, this particular person... Sorry about that, guys. I had to answer my phone. But this particular person is walking away from this money. They walking away from this money. And this uh, particular person um, that wants to be with this person is working really hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, but they mad because this person don't want to be with them. And they over there fighting and everything. You know what I'm saying? I mean, when this person went to jail, that was it. You know what I'm saying? That that was it. You know, this person couldn't take it anymore. But this particular person um, wants a divorce. You know, they went to jail and that was it. You know, that that was it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this person worked really hard to free himself. And I guess when they went to jail, that was it. You know what I'm saying? I guess they went to jail to free themselves from this particular person. So they probably started a fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, they started a fight with this individual because uh, with this water sign, this young water sign, they started to fight because they don't want to be with this particular person. This, um, this young water sign feels that they own this particular person, okay, that they're here, theirs, male or female, I don't know, uh, just put it in where, where it resonates. Um, they feel they own this particular person. Now, when I read one of the definitions, uh, GFX, it says that it means that you're the owner um, of this GFX bitch. That's what it says. So this person does look at this person as a bitch. They don't want nothing to do with them. Um, but this woman feels like she owns this particular person. Yeah. But this particular person, mm, 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 they freed themselves. This person is not their wish fulfillment. They thought it was. They thought it was. But, um, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> He's like, nah, we went, I don't want to be with this person. You know what I'm saying? All right, y'all, let's get some more energy down here. Let's get some more energy down here to see what's going on with GFX. I'm seeing that it means, uh, this person thinks they own them, and this uh, person is a is a bitch. See in the graphics, uh, it can mean owner, um, the owner of the GFX bitch, and um, 
This person is graphic. I mean, they fighting like cats and dogs. I'm seeing blood. I'm seeing somebody got stabbed in the back. I mean, they fighting like cats and dogs. Somebody went to jail. Somebody's getting out. Somebody's leaving this particular person. They leaving a partnership. Uh, they worked really hard on this partnership too, but mm -mm. so this person did some sneaky stuff to start a fight, to intentionally start a fight. Maybe this person wanted to go to jail because he knew that it was, this was his way out. Yeah, he turned his back on this particular person and it's not happening, you know? Yeah. Mm. She thinks she owns him, y'all. She thinks she owns. This person thinks he owns um, someone. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Put it where, put yourself in where you resonate, okay? Yeah. This person has been doing magic. This young water sign, this Cancer Pisces Scorpio has been doing magic on this uh, particular person. Um, because when this person got out of jail, they don't want to be with them. They don't want to be with them. They leaving this person. You know, this person has healed from all the manipulation, the deception, the lying and cheating of this young water sign. And they're leaving this person. So this young water sign is doing magic on this person so they won't go nowhere. Doing magic on this person so they could uh, be sleep. You know what I'm saying? So they won't have no energy so they can disrupt this particular person. Disrupt this particular person uh, from thinking about um, leaving their ass. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This person is doing magic to balance things out because this person is in pain that this particular person is leaving a partnership. Okay? He don't want you, boo. He just don't want you. You know what I'm saying? He just don't want you. You know? Um, this war this uh, particular uh, young wa or water sign could have um, uh, Libra highly aspected in a chart. Okay? I don't know, uh, it could be uh, her north node or something, um, or be her sun sign, um, but the person definitely has water in their chart, okay? Definitely has water in their chart. Yeah, they all they do is fight in this partnership, you know? Um, this uh, particular person is fighting this person. They went to jail because they know that this person wants to leave them, so they fought this person because this person is trying to worry about their future and stuff and and making plans without them you know what i'm saying so they're like now nah, you ain't finna leave me you ain't finna leave me you know so so they over there fighting like cats and dogs honey this person has got uh has got his confidence back up you know what i'm saying this person could have been over there miserable uh melancholy and everything you know worried about uh, how the hell he gonna get out this partnership this person has got his confidence up now and this uh, young uh, water sign with air in their chart is frustrated. Mm hmm Is frustrated. Okay. They working hard to do sneaky stuff. I mean, this person, this, uh, this person worked really hard to do this sneaky thing so they can go to jail, so they can free themselves from this person. I mean, this is crazy. You got to get into a fight for somebody and, and go to jail in order to free yourself from this particular person. This particular person wanted to use this as ammunition to get the divorce uh, rolling, you know. Uh, yeah, that's what this person wanted to do. So he had to use the law. <laughs> yeah, but to get out of the situation, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This uh, person, this young water sign, um, is absolutely mad that this uh, person is not sleeping with them. Because this young water sign with air in a chart, this person is a, um, an energy vampire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why they're working so hard. You know, this person is also working so hard to leave this person, you know. Um, this young water sign, she is hungering for his energy. She is hungering for his energy. I'm feeling that this is a succubus energy. Hmm. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, she's hungering for your for this person's energy because they're moving forward without this person. They're leaving this person. Yeah. And she mad as hell. You know what I'm saying? Mm. 
She mad as hell. You don't own him, girl. You don't own him. You don't own him. Yeah. He done put that D on her. She D-whoop, girl. He got the magic stick. You know what I'm saying? That's why she all in love trying to sleep with him. She trying to sleep with him, y'all. Trying to sleep with him. Um, he ain't been giving her no money. So she over there trying to put that poo nanny on him so she can, he can give us some money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, all she know, that all she got to do is sleep with him. You know what I'm saying? Get some of that, that magic stick and everything going to be sweet. See, this bitch over there putting sex magic on him and he stopped sleeping with her ass. Mm -hmm. And she's hungry for his energy. So she's like, come on. She trying to throw it at him. Out. You know what I'm saying? She trying to throw it in a circle on him. And he like, nah, I don't want none of that. I don't want none of that. He freed himself from her by stop sleeping with her. And she is mad. You know what I'm saying? Because he's balanced off now since he's not sleeping with her. Because she was over here doing his sex magic. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, he got his confidence and stuff because she was eat, chewing on his solar plexus. You know what I'm saying? Making him have low self-esteem and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But now he's confident. You know what I'm saying? So here she go. Back to doing the magic. She, she thinks she's a... She thinks she owns him, and she's very graphic, okay? She's a graphic bitch, and she thinks she owns him, okay? She thinks she's own, she owns him, yeah. Mm-hmm. But he freed himself, you know what I'm saying? She's not his wish fulfillment, yeah, and uh, he's not finna sleep. She he don't want none of that poo nanny. He knows she just wants some money, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, he's not finna heal this connection. You know what I'm saying? He's not finna give her no money. You know what I'm saying? This person, um, the light bulb came on that she ain't no good, that she's a devil. That's how he looks at her as a devil. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's finally, the light finally came on in his head. You know what I'm saying? And he done figured out that she's been getting his uh, energy or, you know, been putting these spells on him. Um, put magic on him to make him low self-esteem, make him don't have no confidence and stuff. And he, he knows now. So he's not sleeping with her. And she is mad. You know what I'm saying? She is mad. Because he she wants him to trust her with his heart so that she can get his energy, y'all. Yeah. This person is isolating herself from her. He don't want nothing to do with her. And he's protecting himself. And she is mad as hell. She's mad because she wants some passion. She wants him to sleep with her because she has this bright idea. You know what I'm saying? That he's moving forward, in which he is. You know what I'm saying? And, and it's a mystery to her. Why is you keeping this D from me? You know what I'm saying? But he done figured out. You know what I'm saying? Um, and he ended it. Yeah, and now he's over there comfortable. And she's over there crying. You know what I'm saying? She's sitting over there trying to project uh her energy or her feelings on him and he ain't stunned her ass you know what i'm saying he cleansing his energy he's ghosting her yeah and she's uh so fearful that he's gonna walk away and and leave her i mean you know yeah he's leaving her ass you know what i'm saying um she don't like this she don't like this honey you know this um she will feel so successful if she could stop him from going out that door yeah, because she's in pain here, y'all. She's in pain. And she's doing this magic on him so he can surrender to her. You know what I'm saying? If he surrendered to her, she'd be so happy. She's going through anxiety and everything, y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because he's taking spiritual baths. You know what I'm saying? He's cleansing his energy and he's rejecting her ass. And she's mad. He rejected having sex with her because he knows that what it is. And she's frustrated that he can't. he won't put his penis... You know what I'm saying? And to her, you know what I'm saying? He's peaceful. He's peaceful now that he's not sleeping with her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, people be doing this this magic, y'all. You know, she's very graphic, which is what it stands for, graphics. Um, and um, she's really nasty. I mean, she's doing all type of stuff trying to tempt him to sleep with her. She's really nasty, y'all. I ain't gonna tell you the stuff that I see her doing. You know what I'm saying? And she's not only nasty uh, sexually, but she's nasty as far as violent. You know what I'm saying? She's just nasty. She already done sent him to jail. He just figures she's just a nasty-ass person. And he don't want her to throw it in the circle for him because she's sure trying to throw it in the circle for him. You know what I'm saying? She want him to trust her, trust her, him with her heart again. And he ain't doing it. He ain't doing it.
Now I don't blame them. Well, this is what I have for my what's the word? What's the word? GFS is graphic. Uh, uh, this is a very nasty person. Nasty person sexually. This is very graphic. You know what I'm saying? And um, she thinks she owns him. You know what I'm saying? Which GFS could mean that she's owned, that she owns him, that you have an owner. Um, you're owned by the, the graphic bitch. You know what I'm saying? And that's what this is. He divorcing her ass. He leaving her ass. He thought she was all that. His wish fulfillment, but he was a fool. She's not. She's not. She's only been giving him that sex. I mean, she's been turning him out, too, for money. Yeah. Working. She working. This is what she does. She's a whore. And he's figured this out. <laughs> he said, I pretty married in any relationship with a whore and didn't know it. Mm -mm -mm. Well, what's the word today? Is graphic, y'all. A graphic bitch that thinks she owns him. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Well, guys, if you feel anybody could benefit from this, what's the word? Please, please, please share the consciousness, share the wealth. Other than that, y'all, I will definitely see y'all on the next one. Y'all be easy. What's the word? GFX, man. Mm -mm -mm. Leave her, bruh. Leave her. <laughs> I'll see y'all on the next one. Y'all be easy. Bye-bye.